Hey everybody, it's Saturday morning and I'm just casually hanging out here on the staircase. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick little talk about detox baths because tomorrow is the full moon and I am actually right in the middle of a full moon parasite cleanse in the group that I run on Facebook. So if you are interested in learning more or watching us do it or jumping in at any time, feel free to go um, join that group. The link to it is in my profile. You can um, find it in the list of links there. So um, you can just click and it'll go straight there to Facebook where the where it is and you can just click join and just answer the little question so I know that you're not some spammer from Nigeria or whatever. But um, but yeah, then I'll let you in and you can kind of just see what we're doing. It's You don't have to do anything, no pressure or whatever. But um, I'm just putting a lot of education. I'm putting a lot of these videos in there and then um, I'm showing everybody how I do the cleanses and like everybody's asking questions and we're doing all three steps together. So it's great. It's a, it's a really good community and I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, it's growing. So come on over. Um, so detox baths. Um, this is great to do, especially like during a full moon or parasite cleanse for the reasons that I usually do a parasite cleanse on the full moon. I have another video about that. Um, go check out in my profile. There's like some playlists. There's Q and A. There's um, the steps explained. There's a few different playlists. So feel free to go watch those. Um, and there's one in there about why I do it on the full moon. That's in the Q and A playlist. Um, so anyway, um, the the bath is great. You can put. Actually, I have an article I've written about this. Um, it's on freedomandcoffee.com, freedomandcoffee.com. That's my site. Um, and you can just search bath and it'll come up. Um, so there's lots of different things you can put into a detox bath. You can put um, baking soda, um, apple cider vinegar, um, essential oils if you want to. Epsom salts is a big thing to put in there for detox and also to calm you. For It has a lot of magnesium. You can absorb the magnesium from the Epsom salts. So um, that's a really good thing to put in there. Um, borax is really good, especially if you're on a parasite cleanse because it will kind of pull everything out. You can actually put milk, weirdly, in the bath. And if you do have parasites, it will actually draw them out. So that could be kind of disgusting, but actually effective um, because they are attracted to the milk. They want to eat it. So sometimes they'll come out and then you might even see something. So yeah, if you don't want to see something, don't put milk in your bath. But, um, but that's another suggestion. I actually haven't ever done that before, but I'm going to try it at some point. Um, you can put diatomaceous earth, clay, bentonite clay, um, just soak in there for like 10 or 15 minutes and especially um, just make it real warm and until you sweat. And then I usually get in the shower after that and kind of wash off because you could have some detox effects and get that off of your skin.